We've made it here to Ponte Lima. It's uh, got a, only a small town, but it's got quite a lot of history. And we're just making our way down towards the river. This is something quite different at the side of the river. This obviously goes back to the, I guess, the agricultural links of the town here. But you've got the two oxen, and they, I don't know if they're sowing the seeds or picking the seeds, but they're uh, definitely working hard on ploughing the furrows. And cultivating on this side tells the story. I absolutely love these. I've no idea what they are, but they're all over Portugal. And the flowers are just obviously on the way out now, but they smell fantastic. And the brilliant, vibrant colours of them. They're just lovely. I'm really impressed with Ponte, Ponte de Lima, if that's how you say it. It's quite chic. Um, it's just such a nice place to have a walk round. It's steeped in history. Um, there's lots of different things to look at. And I'm really pleased that this was a bit of a surprise visit. Now, Ponte Lima is the oldest town, or one of the oldest chartered towns in Portugal. And it was given its charter in 1165. Basically what that means is it's one of the oldest or the oldest town in Portugal that had an administration and a council. I do like the statues. This is obviously a wedding by the looks of it. The bride on the left hand side has got a bunch of flowers and on the uh, handkerchief that she's got is the words Amor. I can't quite believe this how stunning this place is. I know, it's lovely isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Do you want to go down to the Romans at the front? Oh, we seem to have quite a few Roman soldiers here by the side of the river. All lined up. We're venturing over the bridge, and this is the view. I have to say, the River Lima is quite big. We've walked over the bridge from the main town, and the advice to us was, was to cross all the way over. And there's two, there's the main bridge, then there's a smaller bridge that takes you over to, I guess there's some more Roman uh, monuments here. And there's a small church on the right-hand side, and to put our links back into the Camino and how we started our our journey, what seems to be like a long time ago, is there's actually a Camino sign and it was the stone with the face on it and underneath it was the yellow arrow and the terminology bomb Camino, which means good Camino, which is the message that all the uh, pilgrims and all the walkers say to each other when they set off in the morning or when they pass each other on the Camino. Some beautiful buildings on the far side of the river as well but they all seem to be a little bit derelict. Right. Oh yeah, and there we go, an alberg. And this is one of the resting points, one of the licensed resting points on the Camino. If in doubt, 
Follow the yellow arrows. Pontilima has a rich Roman history. It was an important town and an important crossing place between Braga and Santiago de Compostela. After a great day we're heading back for our park up for this evening and it's at a, a place called Parking Expo Lima in the centre of Ponte de Lima. It's free, it's another um, site that we found or another area that we found on Compa Contact which has been I have to say invaluable for us on this trip. There's about five or six other vans with us, um, no services here, just some bins down near the, uh, it's a bit like an exhibition centre or something like that, um, but it's uh, level, it's a paved surface, so if it rains you're not going to get stuck, um, and yeah, it seems to be, as it stands at the minute, relatively quiet as well. Good morning, we're back on the Camino Trail again, this is where it starts in Ponte de Lima, and we're going to walk a short distance of it this morning before we meet friends for breakfast. If in doubt, on the route, follow the yellow markers. So there's one there, and there's one on the side of the stone, just here. Now this is a different route. There's no one set route for walking the Camino. Um, there's popular routes. There's the most, uh, the, I guess the most popular route if you saw our other vlog from St. Jean-Pierre de Pau, and if you've not, we'll put a card in is the um, Camino Francaise or the French route and there you go if you look on the lamp post just there is another yellow sign and on the side of the wall down there is another yellow arrow and that's basically the the sign of the Camino other than the clamshell so we're going to walk down here we've walked a little bit of the um, Camino Francaise and this is another part of it um, another route that comes from Portugal but these routes set off from all over the world. You can leave from Ireland, you can leave from Canterbury in England, you can leave basically from anywhere and uh, join the Camino and end up in Santiago de Compostela. And this route this morning, we've seen some uh, Camino walkers already, backpacks on, the clamshell on the back of their backpack and as they've set off down the side of the river to make their way to Santiago. And they're not that far off now. Um, it can't be in, in a car, it's an hour and a half to get there. Um, obviously a lot more walking, but uh, the end is in sight for most of them this morning. Being in Ponte Lima is the, probably the last stop of our journey through Portugal and we've only been doing it for about 10 days um, and we've been very, very impressed with it. It's a lush country, the, um, it does seem to rain a little bit more, um, the people are very friendly, very chic, um, it's a very pleasant place to be. Uh, so we've definitely got another Portuguese trip back in us uh, which we'll plan and go to some of the places that we've missed out on. Now, when we looked at coming here, uh, there was a definite history link, which is always interesting to both me and Martin. 
and it was always going to be a really good place to photograph and uh, Martin's been really impressed with some of the images that he's got over the last 48 hours. But I have to say, Ponte Lima has um, blown my socks off. It is such a picturesque place to be. It's, um, it's only quite small, it won't take you long to get round it, but it is um, quite amazing really. And we've thoroughly enjoyed the short time that we've had here.